Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have College Road Trip. Now, I, yesterday when this was picked, I honestly had no clue what this was. I mean, obviously, other than the, what the title meant, it was going to be a road trip probably to or from college. Uh, I, for, this is from 2008. It's a, like an, what is it, an hour and 24 minutes and uh, long. Just got to get that information out of the way. Uh, but this is... Uh, this is a Martin Lawrence, Raven Simone, father-daughter road trip movie. I do remember this movie being in theaters and uh, at least seeing the trailers incessantly, just nonstop uh, <laughs> whenever I went to the movies uh, or on TV or whenever. It was just constantly uh, everywhere. They, they marketed the hell out of this thing, um, but I never saw it until now. And, and I actually, because I, I really didn't have a whole lot of expectation for it. I really didn't have any interest in it. Uh, it was goofy, and all the parts that they showed were just, just overly, I don't know, obnoxious, at least from uh, first glance. But uh, I've, now that I've watched it, and I have a better appreciation for Raven Simone after seeing a few other Disney things she's done, you know, That's So Raven and The Cheetah Girls and things like that. She is a human cartoon character. She is so expressive in the way she just does things and makes faces and everything else. She's a bit, that's, that's her comedy, and that's the Disney uh, manner of, you know, comedy. Uh, that she grew up with, I mean, beyond the Cosby show. But uh, when it comes to Disney, yeah, she's the master, the mistress of uh, of uh, Disney-related physical comedy, uh, at least in when it comes to facial expressions especially. You play big. She plays her parts big. And who better to match her with than Martin Lawrence, who is well-known for going big in his roles, whether it's Bad Boys or Mama's House or Big Mama's House or, or whatever. So, yeah, I actually thought this was going to be horrible, but it was actually really funny. Yes, it's completely forced and contrived in so many ways. He's played, uh, Martin Lawrence plays an overbearing uh, police chief father who has pretty much mapped out the fact his entire daughter's his daughter's entire life uh down to the detail of where she's going to college exactly 40 miles away at northwestern university where they live uh from where they live in, in chicago and yeah uh he's more excited about her going to northwestern than anybody else including her she has the opportunity to go to georgetown which is in washington dc and he finds out about this, that she has an opportunity. Uh, he finds out about this and is not happy. But when she has the opportunity to take a road trip to check out the school or at least uh, be interviewed for her role, uh, for admission to the school, um, along, go, to go with her friends, her two friends, who are just going to road trip it and stop over in Pittsburgh and, and uh, you know, just girls road trip. He pretty much puts a damper on that and uh, gets a police SUV kind of thing. And it's just him and her on the road. And, of course, everything goes wrong. So yeah, it's it's a bonding, coming-of-age uh, movie where, you know, they test the limits of his trust in her and her believing that he wants the best for him, for, that he wants the best for her. So, yeah, it, there's lots of big comedy. There's even... A, it's not a musical at all, but she gets to do a big song, song and dancing in a tour bus full of stereotypical Asian tourists. This this movie does uh, seem a little outdated in those respects, where they do the um, Asian stereotypes, and then they also, at some point, uh, get stuck at a hotel where there's a wedding reception. For a fat girl, and she's always eating during the reception. She's just stuffing food in her mouth, and her wimpy new husband, and and ugh, there's so many just it's needless fat jokes. I, I I don't know how else to put it. It's but it's obesity uses comedy. It could have still been just as funny 
without uh, making it a fat joke kind of thing. But, well, why not? Let's double down on the comedy, because fat jokes are funny, apparently. Um, they, okay, sure they are in some cases, but it, it wasn't necessary in this case. Um, of course, because they already had a pig as a pet coming along for the ride, yes, uh, Raven Simone, her name's uh, Melanie, and her, she has a little brother named Hunter, who's a super nerd, and he's trained a pig, a little teacup kind of pig, to play chess, and it's super smart, it can solve Rubik's Cubes, it, it's caused for, it, it's, it's there to create a lot of obnoxious little brother and wacky pet comedy that you'd normally assign to a dog or something, but it's a cute, adorable pig, and he gets hopped up on coffee and goes nuts and invades the reception, and everything just goes nuts. And so, yeah, it's funny, it's it's crazy, it's big physical comedy moments, stuff getting splattered all over, you know, food just flying everywhere, and the, the of course, the fat bride cannot help but eat, just dip her bread into the sauce that gets splattered all over her wedding dress funny so yeah it's <laughs> it's got all that um uh, but yeah hey uh it, it's it's a it's sweet and it's silly and it's it's super obnoxious but uh, again these two make it work because this is where they excel raven simone and martin lawrence know how to play their characters big and loud and uh but and they're good at the crazy facial expressions, which, you know, is a form of comedy. Um, but yeah, that's actually, I will recommend this movie, which is weird. Uh, I did not expect this, but, uh, yeah, it's actually funny. Uh, it's, it's not the best movie in the world by far. It's not like you have to go, have to watch this and, oh my God, you know, it's not like yesterday or yesterday, Mary Poppins, was it? Yes. I lose track. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's lots of big, funny moments in this movie, um, but you won't lose, you won't uh, have to worry about, if you don't see it, that you've lost some part of your life. It's, if you've seen everything else, and you want a big laugh, and you like these actors, I think you'll you'll enjoy this movie. Wait a second, hold on, I'm, I'm interrupting myself just for a minute here, because I forgot to mention something incredibly important about this movie basically i think the script asked for let's get the whitest bread you can possibly get let's let's find the whitest guy to play the whitest of white people ever in existence and be the complete dorky version of what martin lawrence's character wishes he could have with his daughter and they picked donny osmond who is hilarious in this movie because he's he and the girl who plays his daughter are psychotically white bread and like love each other to some demented degree where they're always happy, always friendly, always helpful, and uh, they come along for the ride and well, sort of they they help our our main characters out here a little bit. It's it's worth it, even if, if you're not a big fan of Martin Lawrence and uh, Raven Simone. Watch it for the Donny Osmond scenes, because he's just psychotically white and dorky. It's amazing. All right, back to me. See you. Give it a shot. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a good father-daughter family type film and it's disney so it doesn't get raunchy or anything else uh if you're worried about that kind of thing as you might f with a martin lawrence type film uh this is very much disney so it's otherwise it wouldn't be on disney plus all right let's pick tomorrow's every day uh, disney plus everyday challenge 736 way up there the other end 736 Seven, three, six. Oh, okay. It's a s series. 
Um, I don't know. I'm guessing it's a Disney Junior type of thing. I'm not sure. It's a series, and it's called Violetta. Violetta. All right. Uh, I imagine we'll just watch a few episodes of that, uh, depending on what it is and how, how well it goes. But uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow with Violetta on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. See you tomorrow. Bye.